Welcome back to Good Morning Meridian. Well, in this week's Frontline Responder series, we take you to Neshoba County for the inspirational story of Gwen Moore. The Philadelphia native overcame a tragic wreck as a teenager that confined her to a wheelchair, but she's so shown remarkable determination for almost 40 years to follow her career ambition. Lindsay Hall has her story. Gwen Moore has been defying the odds for a majority of her life. An automobile accident at age 13 left her a paraplegic and confined to a wheelchair. After countless nights in hospitals and numerous surgeries, Gwen got a real appreciation for caregivers, especially nurses. I've just always admired how a nurse can, they can comfort you. They can help you through the bad times. You know, they're, they're like your best cheerleader a lot of times. And I've always wanted to do that, but I just didn't think I was capable of doing it. Some three decades following her crash, Gwen decided to pursue her dream of becoming a nurse and enrolled at Meridian Community College. A few months ago, she became the first person in a wheelchair to complete MCC's practical nursing program. Gwendolyn Jean Moore, Philadelphia. I was accepted, which surprised me. I was so shocked. Um, but I decided I was going to start there and see if I really, truly liked it. And um, sure enough, I did. I really loved it. It was so much fun. It was a lot of work, a lot of work. But um, it's been well worth it. And I passed my boards, my nursing boards, in September, the end of September. Neshoba Medical Associates, how can I help you? Gwen has been working for Neshoba General Hospital as a front desk worker for several years now and continues to strive to realize her dream of becoming a nurse. In the meantime, she serves as an inspiration to her co-workers and others who face roadblocks along their journeys. I mean, every time I've encountered Gwen, she's always just had this biggest smile on her face. She's always just warm and welcoming and a uh, joy to be around. And, you know, I think she's inspiring in many ways because she does what we, we look for all of our employees to do, and that's to advance themselves, to pursue higher education so they can give back to their communities and contribute in ways. And I think it's just terrific what, what Gwen's done and, uh, and the path that she's on right now to, to pursue a higher level of education and career in healthcare. You know, to know that I've, I've paved a path for someone else to come in behind me and say, hey, you know, if she can do this, if she can pave this way for me, then I'm going to take it. If I have that little bit involvement of someone else in my position that wants to go to nursing school but doesn't feel like she has what it takes to get there, or he, then I'm okay with that. Gwen Moore turning tragedy into triumph and reminding us all to never give up on our dreams no matter the obstacles we face. Reporting for Frontline Responders, I'm Lindsey Hall, WTOK News 11. News 11 would like to thank our friends at Meridian Community College and Neshoba General Hospital for helping out with this story. And we give our best to Gwen's supportive family, which includes her husband, son, and four grandchildren.